Darren, there's not many companies that we visit in the UK that have saved over 7,500 lives. But tell me a little bit more about the background to Martin Baker. Well, uh, as a company, we started off building aircraft back in the 30s. Um, as a result of one of the test pilots um, having a fatal accident, we then moved on to building injection seats. And from the early 40s, we've been developing injection seats all the way through up until today. Um, to date, as you mentioned, we saved 7,500 lives. We have developed in line with the change in aircraft from uh, slow jets into super fast jets to turboprop aircraft, um, a whole range of seats that can meet all of our customers' needs. Um, and in a, a today's environment, we're working alongside the JSF program um, and developing future seats to meet the requirements of trainer programs and other programs that are coming through from our various customer bases. Now you have a considerable expense in the machines that you actually got here. Can you tell me how much you actually produce in your seats rather than the supply chain to them? Well, uh, in overall we're producing around about 25% of the product that goes into our, our seats. Um, for some of their programs like the JSF program we're producing something in the region of 700 out of the 1600 components that go into that product. Um, the more modern products we produce more in-house, obviously because of the R&D and the development programs that we run. And the new seats and the new programs have more and more uh, challenges pr um, provided uh, with regards to the change in how we've designed and toleranced the ever-increasing demands to meet higher and higher specifications uh, require us to, to increase and improve our capability to meet those demands. Now, when you look at the types of products that you're actually manufacturing here, the, the complex components, today we're here on behalf of Mitutoyo, and you spend a lot of money with these guys, but why Mitutoyo? Well, over the years, we've built and developed a relationship with Mitutoyo. Uh, we started some 25, 30 years ago buying their equipment and products, um, predominantly CMMs like we see in the background here, and they provide us with a great service. And every challenge that we've had to meet, they've come up with a solution. Um, where they don't think they have a solution, they're very honest and genuine and say, sorry, we can't provide you with that, but this is what we have for the marketplace, this is what we can support you with, and the whole infrastructure and the um, wide range of equipment they can provide us gives us a really good, solid platform to meet all of the challenges that are placed upon us by our own business. Over and above the uh, CMMs you've got here and some of the other products, what other Mitutoyo products do you have across the other sites uh, at Martin Baker? Well, we um, have been utilising their packages across the board, so it's not just the hardware, the CMMs. We have surf test machines, we have contrast machines. We use software, the MeasureLink software that helps us with our measurement system analysis programs and gauge R&R &R and SPC. Um, we've also used their training packages um, on-site training. We've also brought some training kits and equipment off them as well to support our own training workshop and the development of our own staff. And how crucial is it that the components are at the best tolerance in reference to your seats? Well, we have a, an ever-increasing demand placed upon us by our design department. So over the last few years, for instance, they, we've changed our principle of how we tolerance our drawings. So we've gone more down the lines of GD&T. Um, and the demands that this has been placing upon us has required us to have more applicable equipment to actually meet these demands. So we've looked in the last five to six years of actually investing in a standard set of equipment across the board that meets all the demands that our design department places upon us. And is the demands actually on the seat manufacturing a lot more than it was, say, 30 years ago? Yes, yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, over time you have a development of... Um, techniques, um, capabilities, um, changing the materials that you work with, the types of materials, um, composites, etc., sort of coming more and more predominant in the industry. So to, to meet all of these changing demands, we have to actually um, not only look at what we need to do right here, right now, today, but also look at the future as well. So Mitutoyo have provided us so far with the ability to actually not only just meet our current demands but look forward and, and actually meet our future demands as well. So it's really an investment not necessarily just in an equipment but also the, the support and the training that you get with Mr. Toyo? Yes, we, we need to have a look at the whole package, it's not just the hardware, we have um, a whole range of staff here, we employ 55 people just in my department alone 
and it's one thing to go and buy the equipment, it's another thing to actually support that equipment with the right people that have the skill sets to be able to use that equipment to its fullest. So in conjunction with Mitutoyo, we've been using their training team and their training packages. Um, we've been qualifying our staff uh, to a city and guilds level and that also en enables us to meet our own company's design requirements and, and production requirements in the future. So saying that you've got apprentices in the company effectively, yeah. that's the way that you're growing your business? We are. We currently have in the region of three or four apprentices but also we have seven or eight trainees as well um, and these trainees have been brought in with the right attitude, the right basic fundamental skills and capabilities, and we are developing them in conjunction with our partners, Midstoy, for instance, um, to be the best that they can be and support the business for the future. And what is the future for Martin Baker? Big and bright, hopefully. Um, we are looking at new programs, we're looking at existing programs, we're looking at development to meet all of our customers' needs. Um, and basically provide the very best piece of equipment that we can to support the all of the fly, flying staff that are out there supporting uh, various nations. Well, it's, it's a fantastic, iconic British company. Great success. Thanks very much for your time, Darren. Thank you very much, Mark. Much appreciated.